Hi, grade five, Sir Colin here, your math five tutor to help you with your math modules. We are now at the last topic for the first quarter. Yay! This is module number 17, Solving Problems Involving Fractions. In this module, you will recall the steps we already learned previously in solving math problems. Problem solving is a process or an act of defining or finding the solution to the problem. It includes identifying the facts and deciding on the ways or strategies to come up with the solution. There are four steps to follow in solving problems. First one, understand. Know what the problem is being asked and know the given facts. The second step that you have to do is to plan. In planning, you have to determine the strategy or operation to be used as either variable equation or a model. For letter C, that is, or number three, that's solve. Uh, show your solution to the problem. Then that's the time that you have to show your solution, the detailed solution. And of course, for the last step, which is step number four, you have to check and uh, check or look back. Check if uh, the answer is correct and state the complete answer. So those are the steps that we need to follow in solving word problems. Let's try this one, the problem given in what's new. Ben makes face masks for sale. How many face masks can he make from 3 meters of cloth if 1 8 of a meter is used for one face mask? If there are 10 of, this, of his friends ordered face masks, would Ben be able to make face masks enough for his friends? Now I want you to try this problem. Let us now try to solve the problem in our what's new activity. Okay, what is asked in this problem is the number of face masks that uh, can be made. So that's the first problem. Actually, we do have two problems here. The first one is the number of face masks. How many face masks? Okay, the number of face masks that they can make from the three meters cloth. Okay, then the next question is, would Ben be able to provide the order of his 10 friends, okay? Would, uh, uh, would that be enough for him to provide uh, the, uh, or his 10 friends ordering for a face mask? So we do have two questions for this problem. And uh, what are they given in this problem are the following. Three meters of cloth, which will be used in making the face mask. And of course, one face mask need uh, 10, or I mean one eight uh, of a meter. And of course, we also have here another given, which is 10 friends uh, ordered uh, from Ben. So let's try to look at or let's try to decide on how do we solve this problem. Actually, if we will just to translate this uh, problem in a number sentence, it's just like 3 meters. And you just have to divide it by 1 8 because one face mask only needs 1 8 meters of a cloth. Is, uh, that's just very easy. Or you could also construct a model. Actually, you could choose which is the best solution in order to solve this problem. So 3 divided by, by 1, 8, uh, or we have here 1 whole, 2, 3. You have to divide it by uh, 1, 8 also. So the same thing that you are doing here, okay? So it could be in model approach, uh, this one, or you could uh, just have an equation. Okay, so if we have 3 divided by, by 1, 8, remember that if we are dividing fractions, uh, it's just like multiplying it by the reciprocal of your divisor or the multiplicative inverse of your divisor, which is 8 over 1. Or that is also equal to, or sorry, that is 3 times 8 because 8 here, 8 over 1 here is also a whole number. So that is 24. So there are 8, 16, 24. Indeed, there are 24. Okay? So uh, the first question is how many face masks can he make uh, for the 3 meters of cloth if 1 8 of a meter is used for one face mask? The first question, the answer is 24 face masks. Okay? The next question is if there are 10 of his friends ordered for the face mask, 
would Ben be able to make face mask enough for his friends? The correct answer is yes. The second problem or the next question that is yes. Because he has only 10 friends and he has 24 available face masks. It would be helpful also if we could recall the different types of problems that we are doing in math. Okay, so let us recall uh, what uh, do we mean by uh, routine and non-routine problems. Okay, we have two types of problems in math. That's the first one is non-routine problems, which are problems that requires some degree of creativity or originality. The problem does not have immediate apparent strategy for solving them. So that's why we have to we have to use different heuristics in solving non-routine problems. Sometimes that could not be easily written in, in, in an equation. That's why we need to do the black model approach, uh, the backward solving, uh, and all other heuristics or strategies or approaches in solving those non-routine problems. Okay, it needs your creativity and originality. Okay, next one is uh, routine problems. Routine problems is a transla translation uh, problem for which uh, uh, you can write the equation or the number sentence and uh, an immediate solution to the problem or immediate solution to solve the problem. You have that uh, solution already or immediate uh, solution in order for you to solve the problem. So it simply means that that could be easily translated into a number sentence, not like the non-routine, which will require you to think of how do we entangle this problem on how do we solve this problem. So let's try the following problems and let us also use the steps uh, recommended by Polia in order for us to decide uh, on what to do on how to solve the problem. The problem is an 8 tenths meter piece of wood is cut equally into shorter pieces of 1 fifth meter each. How many shorter pieces will there be? If there are two eight-tenths of wood available, how many pieces of one-fifth meters is there? So uh, let us now solve the problem. In solving the problem, we need to know what is asked. Uh, actually, we do have two uh, problems here or, or two questions here. That is the number of shorter piece that can be made. Okay, if you have 8 tenths meters, uh, meter piece of wood, that will be cut into one fifth meter each. The first problem is the number of shorter pieces that can be made. The next problem is the number of one fifth meters in two pieces of 8 tenths meters. So what are the given here are the following 8 tenths meters of wood. The next one is one fifth meters each. And the next one is two uh, eight tenths meters of wood. See? Okay, those are the given. Then the next thing that we have to, is to do is to plan. Actually, uh, in order for us to plan, we have to choose for the strategy or the equation if we could write it in a number sentence. So that is just only eight tenths divided by, by one fifth is equal to n. That's for the first problem. For the second problem, we have two times eight tenths, okay? Then the answer for that, divide it by uh, one fifth, okay? So this is the answer for the first problem and this is the, or I mean the equation for the first problem and this is the equation for the second problem. The next thing that you have to do is to solve. If you are to solve eight tenths divided by, by one fifth, so that will give us eight tenths times the reciprocal, which is five ones. So we could cancel eight and 10 because both of, or I mean, both of them are divisible by two. So that will give us four, five. Then multiply numerator by numerator, that's 20. Then I'm, oh wait, we could still cancel five and five here. So this will become one, this will become one. So um, if you will multiply this one now, so the answer is four, then one, or that is also equal to four. Okay, the second equation here is 2 times 8 tenths. I'm going to say 2 times 8 tenths. Then after that one, the answer here will be divided by, by 1 fifth. Okay, so if you will multiply this, the answer for this problem is 
um, if you will multiply this, we could cancel this one. Divide by 2, this will become 1. And divide by 2, that will give become 5. So that is 8 fifths. Then that's the time that you have to divide it by 1 fifth. Remember that if we are dividing, it's just like multiplying that uh, number, that fraction by its reciprocal 5 over 1. So uh, what will happen here? Cancel the 5. So 8 times 1 is equal to 8. Then 1 times 1 is equal to 1 or that is equal to 8. Okay? So our answer for the first problem, which is uh, the number of shorter pieces that can be made, the correct answer is 4. Okay, for the second problem, uh, that is, uh, you, if you have two of these, two of that, okay, uh, two pieces. For one piece, we have four, of course, for two pieces, that is eight. So that's correct. Okay, so that's the answer for our challenge here. So we have two answers here. The first answer is four, and the second answer is eight. Let's try another problem, but this time I want you to do it by yourself. The problem is, there are 36 members in the English club of Miss Mandy. She wants to split up the members into two groups for doing the literature activity. Three-fourths of the class wants to do drama, while one-fourth loves poetry. How many of them went to drama and loves poetry? So, uh, I want you to answer what uh, is asked, or I mean, uh, understand what is asked. And of course, you have to know the relevant facts or what we call the given. Of course, you tell me what do you think is the best plan for, for this uh, problem. And you have to show your solution and check if your answer is correct. So do it by yourself. Uh, kindly complete this, uh, pause this video and answer. Let us now solve the given problem. What is asked in this problem is the number of pupils wants to do the drama and the other one, the other problem is the number of pupils loves poetry. Of course, the given in this problem are the following. We do have 36 members of the English club and of course, three-fourths who loves drama and one-fourth loves poetry. Now, in order for us to solve this problem, let us first plan on how do we solve this problem. Well, anyway, sorry for the erasures that I made because uh, uh, I need to do some corrections. So, in this problem, uh, actually this problem can be solved by, of course, to get the number of people who loves drama, you have only to get three-fourths of uh, 36. And for the poetry, you will just get one-fourth of the 36 pupils. So this could be also written as three-fourths times 36 is equal to N for the pupils who loves drama. And of course, one-fourth times 36 or get the one-fourth of 36, which is equal to N for the number of pupils who love poetry. The next thing that we have to do is to solve. So if you are to solve this problem, that's just very simple. For the drama, that is equal to 3 fourths times 36. Of course, 36 is the denominator of 1. As what I have told you in multiplying fraction, numerator by numerator, denominator by denominator. However, if you have numbers to cancel, for example, this one, they are both divisible by 4. Divide by 4, that will give us 1. Divide by 4, that will give us 9. Therefore, 9 times 3 or 3 times 9, that's 27 over 1 or 27 loves drama. For the poetry, of course, 1 4 times 36 over 1, because uh, 36 is a whole number, the denominator is 1. Cancel if you have uh, numbers uh, which is a common factor. This one divisible by 4, that is 1 divisible by 4, that is 9. So 9 over 1, or 9 pupils loves poetry. If you will try to check that is 27 loves drama plus uh, 9 who loves poetry, so the total is 36, which is also the total number of the members of the English club. Therefore, our answer is correct that we have 27 uh, pupils for the drama and 9 pupils. Remember to label your answer. 9 pupils uh, love 
uh, poetry. So 27 drama, 9 poetry. I hope it's clear for us. This time, you have to answer your assessment. For your assessment, we have here 10 items for you to do. Okay, these are all problems. So um, I want you to pause this video, read the problem first before you answer. Okay, so here, read each problem below and answer the questions uh, that follow. Uh, write the letter of the correct answer in your answer sheet answer your activity using the same problem this time answer items number three and four it simply means that in this one problem you will refer to this in order for you to answer item number one two three and four pause this video and answer for items number five to eight here's the problem now pause this video and answer items number five to eight And finally, answer number 9 and 10 can be referred to the question given above. Hi guys, we just completed all the modules and the competencies for the first quarter of the Math 5. So thank you so much for joining me in this journey. I hope that you've learned something. See you next time for our next video tutorial lesson. This is your Sir Colin signing off.